Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make these uh, spiral stairs in Blender using Python. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And uh, this script was sent to me by one of my subscribers, so make sure to follow him on Instagram and join our chat on Discord. Okay, so start off by pressing A to select everything, and then X to delete. And then let's open a new window for the Python script. Go into the text editor. And then click new. And then let's increase the font size. Set it to 18. And then turn on uh, line numbers and the syntax highlighting as well. And for this tutorial, we're going to import two libraries. The first one is the Blender library. So import BBY. And then we need to import the math library to generate the spiral. So import math as M. Then we will define three variables, N for the number of steps, R for the radius of the uh, spiral, and then uh, set for the uh, set coordinate of the first step, which is uh, zero in uh, this case. And then let's add a for loop. So for I in range, and then 1 to n minus 1, which is the number of uh, steps. And to generate the spiral, we will start off by generating steps in circles, and then later add the z-axis. And to generate steps in circles, we will use the polar coordinates. And in the description, there will be a uh, link to a PDF, which explains the concept in detail for anyone interested. So uh, let's start off with the angle. Angle equals i minus 1 times 4 times m dot pi divided by n. And as you can see, by importing the math library, we get access to the value for pi, as well as the functions for sine and uh, cosine. And with those uh, values and functions, we are able to generate a circle using the polar coordinates. So uh, let's add the uh, y value as well, and use the sine function. And the m before the sine and uh, cos function as well as the uh, pi value is just a reference to the math library. And uh, then it's time to generate the objects. So uh, let's start off by uh, generating a, a cube. So bby dot ops dot mesh dot primitive underscore cube underscore add and uh, then parentheses and then let's start off with the location and the location is changing because it will generate in a spiral so x y and uh, sets and these will change according to the polar coordinates on the x and y axis and uh, let's go into the uh, info window and this is where you can learn how to add objects into your script. So let's add a cube, for example. And as you can see, we get the same line as uh, we added to the for loop. We can also scale it. So let's uh, scale it on the x-axis, s and then x. And uh, this transform operator is the next line of the uh, for loop. So uh, press enter for a new line and then bby dot OPS dot uh, transform and then resize and we will now transform each object from a cube to a uh, staircase step so the values will be 2 for the x-axis and then 1 for the uh, y-axis and then point 2 for the z-axis. And all the steps will have the same size, so uh, these values will be constant. And then we need to add rotation to each of these steps. So uh, bpy dot context dot object and then rotation. And the Euler 
and then we will use the value from the angle variable. And then we need to add the set axis as well, so that uh, it goes from a circle to a spiral. So uh, let's add 0.4 for each loop. And uh, then let's delete the object in the viewport and run the script. And when we run the script, we will only get the spiral because we have not yet added the uh, cylinder. And as you can see, it looks great. So uh, now it's time to add the cylinder. So press A then X to delete everything. And then let's uh, add a new line for the cylinder. Before we add the cylinder, we need to define the uh, set coordinate of the center of the cylinder, which will be about half of the uh, top step. So uh, let's uh, type A equals set divided by two. And then in the last line, we're going to add the cylinder. So uh, BPY dot OPS dot mesh dot primitive underscore cylinder and then add. And uh, then the uh, radius is going to be equal to the radius that we defined in the R variable, minus one. The depth or the height of the cylinder is going to be equal to the accumulated height of all of these steps, which is uh, set. And then the location is going to be equal to uh, zero, zero, and then A, which is the set location of the center of the cylinder. And uh, let's try to run the script. And as you can see, we get an error because I forgot the last parentheses. So let's add one more. And then run the script. And as you can see, now we have both the spiral stairs and the cylinder. And we can also change the values. So I press A to select everything and then X to delete. So let's start off by, uh, for example, uh, dividing the number of steps by two, which means that the total accumulated rotation of the staircase only needs to be 360 degrees instead of uh, 720. So let's set it to two, multiply by M pi. And as you can see, we have the new staircase with only a 360 degrees rotation or total rotation. We can also set the number of stairs to 400. Let's multiply the pi multiplier by 10 as well. And as you can see, we have a really tall staircase. But uh, let's set up the render. So uh, let's delete everything and set the uh, number of steps back to 80. And the uh, accumulated angle back to uh, 720 degrees. And uh, then let's run the script. And we can start off by adding a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of vertices for the cylinder. So go to face select in edit mode, hold in shift and select the face at the bottom as well. Then press N and set the increase value to one so that these uh, faces stay flat when we add the subdivision surface modifier and let's increase the number of subdivisions. And then uh, let's go back into object mode and uh, let's add a plane. So go to add, mesh and add a plane. Press S to scale. And before we end the tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to set up a very basic render. So uh, let's add a camera and then press numpad zero to look through the camera. And then press N and lock the camera to view. And let's move backwards using the mouse wheel. 
And for this render, I'm not going to set up any lighting. I'm just going to use the matcap viewport shading. So uh, let's hide the overlay. And uh, then go to matcap. And then you can choose one of the uh, different types of uh, shaders. For the thumbnail, I used the uh, dark one, but you can choose whatever you want. For example, the uh, black one or uh, one of the others. So just experiment and uh, then we can uh, render the result. So to render, just go to uh, view. And then viewport render. And then you can save the image. Save as. And then give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.